Hello, this is a presentation of the new line of the automotive thickness gauges from Itari company. Uh, this is a two thickness gauges. One of them uh, calls ET110, uh, the other calls ET111. The difference between them is that uh, ET110 measure uh, the layer only on the magnetic steel, um, magnetic metal like steel iron, etc. The ET111 uh, measure the thickness on the different metals like aluminium, bronze uh, and uh, magnetic metals too. So this is a universal thickness gauges. This is only for the magnetic metals. So let's see the, each, uh, each of them uh, a little closer. Let's meet uh, the new thickness gauge uh, for the automotive market, Itari ET111. It's universal gauge that can measure the thickness on the uh, ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Let's see what's inside the box. As we see uh, in the gift box, we have the manual for this model, the carrying bag with the belt strap. You can carry this gauge on the belt, it's very good. Uh, see the entire gauge, it's already in the rubber cover, it's a real good safety and good to hold it. Uh, you can find the batteries, the set of batteries of two 3A batteries inside, and you can see the uh, calibration set here. Uh, we will back it to it a little later. Hmm, there is nothing more. Okay, let's see how the gauge is working. Uh, first of all, we have to install the batter batteries inside. For, for, for this, we have to turn off uh, the rubber cover and use the entire gauge. Uh, open the battery door at the back and as you see I, I already installed the batteries. Close it. Oh, turn it on. Uh, and get back to the rubber cover for the safety. Well, let's see uh, what we have here. We have five buttons uh, here. Uh, the gauge measure in microns. Uh, you can see the light, uh, the torch button here. You can press it once and you see, oh, you know, let's see, uh, you see the light is on, the light LED is on. You can uh, light up uh, the place where you measure the thickness or you can uh, light up uh, the paint on the car to check the quality uh, for the scratches uh, etc. Uh, press torch button twice you can see the ultraviolet LED LED is on and with it you can check uh, let's, the, let's say the money when you buy or buying or sell in the car and the uh, car documents uh, everything what's uh, light up in ultraviolet light uh, you can check it up uh, how it works how it turns on uh, the gauge turns on with the switching on the sensor okay it's on and here we can see the light button this is for the LED uh, lightning but it's too lighty here, you can see it, but it's, it's really bright. Uh, the calibration uh, button, we will back it to it a little later. Uh, zero button, it's for calibration too. And uh, the button ferrum, non ferrum. Uh, when you turn on the gauge, you can see the A letter appears here. Uh, this means is gauge is in the uh, automatic mode. If we have, let's say, 
the ferros base he automatically uh, show you that this uh, automatically recognize the base and show you uh, this that this is made of ferros if we have non ferros base the gauge automatically uh, check it and show you that this is non ferro non ferros base well the next uh, ferros non ferros button is made for uh, make the gauge turn the gauge into the ferros or non ferros mode in the ferros mode you can measure the ferros bases only non ferros are not able to measure what it what it is made for uh, let's say uh, you have to measure the the thickness of the metal on the metal uh, uh, let's say it's steel on aluminium and you can check the thickness of the steel plate here on this aluminium plate well, you can use it as your own, but usually it's turned in uh, automatic mode and it's enough for usual measuring. Next, uh, when you uh, get it first, uh, turn it on first, you have to calibrate it. How to do it? As we saw, we have a calibration set here. Uh, it's uh, ferrous non ferrous uh, metal plates and one plastic plate with the thickness 102 microns as we see uh, first of all we have to peel off uh, the protective sleeve from the metal plates uh, if you want take it off and calibrate right on this protective sleeve your gauge will be really really lying do not forget to do it for a first time okay when you um, peel off the protective sleeve uh, turn the gauge uh, check for automatic mode and let's calibrate it for a first time First of all, uh, you have to measure the uh, naked plate. How to measure? Uh, just press um, the gauge with the sensor to the metal. And you see the result. Uh, for the zero, this is zero thickness on this uh, metal um, plate. Uh, let's press zero and say to gauge, hey, this is zero. It's a first point calibration and the second point is the uh, checking the thickness of this film. We measure it. We know we know we know that uh, thickness of uh, this uh, film is 102 microns and we see 102 microns here but it's okay if, if it's not uh, just press calibration button for four seconds you see calibration uh, blinking here uh, and set with the errors 102 microns and then press calibration button one more time shortly and then uh, calibrate the thickness uh, gauge on the non ferrous plate measure as we see it's 0 02 uh, let's say 0 one more time it's it's not a problem uh, measure the film well you see it's 94 it should be 102 uh, press calibration button for four seconds see the calibration blinking and 
set it to 102 microns. Well, as you see, it's nothing really nothing really complicated to use this gauge. Well, one more interesting feature in this gauge. Um, the resetting. Uh, let's say something happened with the gauge. You see that uh, that it goes crazy. Sometimes it's happened with uh, all electronic stuff. And you can just reset to the factory default. How to do it? You just press the zero button for four seconds. And here it is. It's in the factory defaults settings. And if you see while you do it, you get almost calibrated device. So for automotive, this difference, this difference for a few microns. You see uh, the film is 102 microns and it show 100 microns. These two microns is almost nothing in automotive. Uh, because if the car painted in the workshop, uh, not in the factory, the difference between uh, these uh, layer and the layer uh, painted on the a uh, factory will be 50 microns, 60 microns, 100 microns and if uh, the car was damaged and repaired and the part is not new but uh, remanufacturing uh, you can see uh, 2000, 1000 microns uh, so these two microns is almost nothing for it so if you lose or forget your calibration set uh, you have you may have uh, you may use the reset button to uh, automatic calibrate the device this uh, this feature was made exactly for the automotive if you if you want uh, to get the real good uh, the real good measure please calibrate it with the calibration set well you saw uh, the gauge, the thickness gauge, Atari ET111. It's universal, um, uh, universal gauge for the ferrous and non-ferrous metals, and it's measure uh, the thickness on the uh, non-ferrous metals up to 1,000 microns, and on the non ferrous uh, on the ferrous uh, metals up to 2000 microns well thank you